The government's caught up in an emissions tangle, claiming carbon emissions are going down at the same time as Department of Energy figures show a very different story. Let's go live to Canberra and our political reporter, Jonathan Kersley. Jono, good morning. Some embarrassment at the time. The Prime Minister is trying to talk up the government's credentials. Davina, we're two months out from an election and there's plenty of announcements on policy and funding. Of late, the government's been trying to show it's tackling climate change and energy policy. The Prime Minister's been talking up investment in Malcolm Turnbull's dream of Snowy Hydro 2.0. He's also flagged a greater investment in renewables and low emission energy. Then came his Energy Minister Angus Taylor, heralding falling carbon emissions at the back end of last year. Now, that argument is true. But the Department of Environment and Energy's own numbers show year on year in this country emissions are up. This morning, Environment Minister Melissa Price gave her assessment. Have emissions gone up or down? Well, if you have a look at the data in the last quarter, they've gone down. But over the, over the year, they've gone up. Over the past year, they've actually gone up. Yeah, well, I'm focused on the good news. Are you just cherry-picking? No, no, I actually think the media is cherry-picking. Thanks very much. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister's been giving himself a verbal thumbs up on his handling of the economy, claiming if Labor wins the election, the economy would be weaker, suggesting but not explicitly saying it could lean towards a recession. That was a claim dismissed by the opposition as desperate and wrong, trying to deal with a significant wrong in society. The Prime Minister's announced a $328 million funding package to tackle domestic violence. There'll be money for prevention, education programs in schools, funding for courts to identify women potentially at risk of domestic violence. The Prime Minister says this is an issue, a scourge, that leads to the death of one woman a week and the hospitalisation of eight women a day. These statistics are, are just damning. But they're not numbers, they're people. I look forward to the day when a Prime Minister can stand, whether it's here or in the chamber or anywhere else, and say that a young girl being born today won't experience this over the course of the first 20 years of their life. I can't say that today. Davina, this is an issue that is unsurprisingly attracting attention and funding from both sides of politics. Good to see, Jono. OK, thank you. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.